I think the second part of your question uh, was related to UAP or unidentified aerial uh, phenomenon and that UAP task force. Um, and, and, and as far as I'm concerned or, or, or am knowledgeable above about that, I do believe it does involve collaborative inputs and um, information exchange with all kinds of countries around the globe because I think these are not just uh, solely um, uh, actions or, 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 or uh, uh, events that have occurred within the con uh, confines of the United States. They've, they've occurred globally, and I think we're collecting that information. Uh, we're sharing information. We view that as an open and transparent effort and activity through, uh, through the United States Congress and, and, and executed by our UAP task force office. And so I, 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 I would encourage greater uh, collaboration and cooperation in that. And particularly, I think as we see uh, various technologies that will help uh, demystify or debunk or clarify. Um, but, but I think it's also important, one of the, one of the reasons that we are doing uh, this effort is because national security concerns are of paramount importance, and so is safety of flight and deconfliction and collision avoidance and, uh, and issues to preserve and protect human life. So when we, can, uh, we, when we can better share and exchange information, I think that's better, much like we do in the Inter International Civil Aviation Organization, or otherwise known as ICAO, uh, or in any other international bodies as well. I think there's a fertile an important opportunity to be pursued there.